Hi guys. So I get asked a lot about Python skills for data engineers. A lot of people come to my academy and they ask, okay, Andreas, what do I need to learn? And we have a course in the academy about the Python fundamentals for somebody who really never coded before. But I think that's not enough. So in this video, I'm going to show you what's in the new course that I'm going to create that's actually helping exactly these people. So in the academy, we have already a course that is called Introduction to Python. That is from Amit Jain. And Amit actually was looking over the absolute basics, as I said, like what's how to create a main pie, uh, mathematical ex uh, expressions, strings, variables, loops, functions, lists and tuples, dictionaries and sets. And then a bit about reading, writing, uh, JSON, and CSVs. So the absolute bare minimums, the basics that you need to have as a, let's say Python beginner. Now in the next part that I want to do is, it should be a bit more about what does a data engineer use all the time. And I think there are a few things like, uh, first of all, connecting to outside sources, to connecting to databases, and uh, stuff like connecting to APIs, for instance. And that's the the basics of like connecting to the outside world and then the whole processing part, like processing uh, JSONs, reading in strings, making JSONs, objects out of them, uh, JSON validation, which is very important. Date time, because most of the time you're working with uh, Timestamps, it's wherever you look, everywhere are timestamps. So processing these timestamps is important. And then the overall, the most important thing, pandas that you are going to use all the time when reading JSONs, when reading um, CSV files, having a tabular form with rows and columns and joining these together and, and modifying them. That's a big part, as well as NumPy for the for the mathematical stuff. So that's the that's for the processing connection to DBs, I think is uh, one thing that is important for Postgres uh, databases, psycho PG2, and also some um, MySQL uh, language or standard MySQL package. And then the requests for sending out data to APIs or communicating with APIs. I think these are the main things that a data engineer needs. Connect to outside data sources like databases, talk to APIs, and then transfer, transform the data and, and or process the data. I think it's, it's very important here. One thing you could add here, um, more a bit down low, like uh, data formats. We could talk about uh, parquet files. That's also something that just when I, while I record this comes to my mind, but otherwise I think these are the these are the things that every data engineer needs, and I want to bring this into the next course in the academy. The basics we have, this should be the next one. Uh, yeah, I right now I don't like how I how I need to interact with my with with students or with potential students. Uh, if somebody comes in and, and asks me on LinkedIn or via email, I get a lot of emails uh, on this. What should I learn? What do I need? Then I need to send people out and need to send them to other external sources. So then they are they don't really have a a specific path for data engineers. They get then into the uh, into the basics, just like I showed here, and then get sent down a rabbit hole maybe and to other resources that they don't really need and spend a lot of time on this instead of just focusing on the basics or in, on the important things for data engineering so they can go on and become a data engineer. So take a screenshot of this, look into these. I don't know how long it will take me to get this uh, this course online. I'm going to start with this. And that was one thing I was working today on. I think this will be very helpful for people. 
Let me know in the comments uh, what I'm missing here. I'm, I'm guessing I'm missing a lot, but maybe one or two things that are important or that you think are important uh, are missing here. So let me know in the comments and do me a favor and hit the like button on these small vlog episodes or between or behind the scenes episodes uh, if you like them. All right. Thanks for watching. See you next time. <laughs>